to normalize emotional conversations. Like, I can't tell you enough. We talk about mental toughness. It's a term I use a lot as well. But honestly, many people view mental toughness as emotional avoidance. <laughs> That's not what mental toughness is, right? It's being resilient. It's being emotionally regulated. So we got to remove these semantics that we like to use to say, oh, mental toughness is pretending nothing's wrong. Well, that's going to backfire paradoxically and make something wrong, right? So I would say, along with the education, is talking about what are the function of emotions? Why do you have anger, right? Why do you have sadness? Why do you have anxiety? Why do you have disgust, an emotion no one talks about? But nonetheless, these are all emotions that we're all going to experience in our lives, but also in sport, right? So I think that if we can have those conversations early at every single level, that's going to create a safe space for us to have honest dialogues about when we experience those emotions and how to adaptively respond to them, not only from a coaching standpoint, but from a student-athlete standpoint and a parental standpoint.